Hey YouTubers, here in the background I got some Diablo 3 playing at 730 kills, my angry chicken, I like to call it turbo chicken build. I'll talk about that at the end. First of all, I want to talk about Overwatch. BlizzCon's going on, and we got some new information about Overwatch. Some of it's been known, but we got some three new characters I'm going to talk to you about right now. First of all, you got D.Va. She's supposedly some, I think it's Korean gamer, pro gamer. It's kind of weird as a character choice, but basically... She rides around in a mech, and her abilities include fusion cannons. It's basically like a shotgun machine gun. Kind of odd, I think. And her second ability lets her dash forward, which I you can go in any direction, so it actually seems quite useful to get, you know, get the hell out of there. She has a tank-based class, but she doesn't seem to take that much damage, to tell you the truth. Her other ability, she has this defense matrix where... Anything you shoot at her, it just stops it. Like, you know, so if they're trying to do a barrage or anything crazy coming at you, projectile base, it just stops it, neutralizes it. You know, that is going to make people so salty. Her ultimate ability is self destruct. You can jump out of the mech and blow up everybody around you. And it takes a few seconds, but the blast radius looks gigantic. And after you get out of the mech, you're basically on your own. You're fairly weak. You have a blaster pistol, but your ultimate builds again which is different than all the other classes you don't even have to be getting kills and you can get back into your mech that seems extremely handy next up we got genji he's a cyborg ninja hanzo's long fought dead brother his basic abilities include shuriken with the left click it's very accurate and his right click you throw kind of a fan of them out uh seems all right i you know you get some kind of a distance out of him i suppose Next up, he also has the ability to teleport forward, which seems extremely handy. You can teleport any direction you want, and you basically make the other enemies bleed while you do so. And if you need some mobility, this is definitely a great helpful thing, because you can go straight up any angle you want to go at. Extremely handy. Not to mention, you can also deflect projectiles, which is going to be so nice when you deflect the Widowmaker's sniper shot back at him and kill him you have to be aiming right at it so you, you know your your ability is going to be based solely on how good you are you also have you know your passive ability of climbing up walls and a double jump that's super awesome your ultimate is dragon blade basically you pull out your sword finally and just go apeshit sorry winston this guy is going apeshit with his blade and just tearing people apart with it uh that's gonna be so nice when you go in and just kill a ton of people with it Although it doesn't look that overpowered, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but at the same time, I think you're going to get wasted pretty easy while using it. Next up, and not least, we got Mei. Basically, she's the girl next door. She's kind of different than most other characters you see in these kind of games. Her first ability is basically a way to freeze people. It takes several seconds, it seems like, to get them from going to full speed to, like, totally frozen. But when you do freeze them, that's going to be extremely handy. Her second ability is Icicle. Basically, it takes half a second to charge, so it's going to be hard to actually aim, but it does a decent amount of damage. But if you freeze them, you're going to be able to headshot them point blank. That's extremely handy. Then you have Cryo Freeze. It lets you freeze in place, heal up while you're you know, sitting there. You're totally immune from all damage. They'll let you think about what you should do if they're still standing there, or maybe you'll have a teammate help you you know, take out whoever is shooting you or wasting you. Very nice. Also, you got Ice Wall. This is a weird ability in a first-person shooter. Basically, you're going to put a wall that's relatively wide in front of you and tall that can be destroyed, but at the same time, this thing's going to let you get to places you normally couldn't get to and block off all kinds of paths, and hopefully it's not used for trolling too much. You also have Blizzard. That isn't that great of an ultimate, I think. It's going to help you know slow down enemies, so they're going to be more of a target or easier target for other characters. And it has a fairly wide area. I don't think it's going to be that overpowered in any way, but it is going to be very handy. It's going to make some good game plays out of it. Another big piece of information about Overwatch is it's coming out for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. This was no real big surprise to me because there's no real reason why it couldn't come out on the consoles because, you know, it's a first-person shooter. The button layout isn't so extreme and the graphics aren't like, like the pinnacle of PC gaming. They're good. But there's no real reason why I don't think it'd come out on console. So, you know, I wasn't surprised at all finding out this is coming out. And right now the date is set at June 21st or sooner, 
which seems kind of odd. Uh, they don't really know, and we don't really know when there's going to be an open beta. Right now, it's closed. I'm not in it. I'm hoping to get in at some point, but who knows? They are going to have some open beta weekends, which they haven't actually said when. And right now, it sounds like there might only be one this year, uh, which sounds... Uh, I don't really like that. It doesn't sound good at all to me. And from what anybody can tell... I don't think that at least this is going to be a free-to-play game. I know a lot of people are just expecting it, but I think there's actually going to be some form of payment. Right now, there is an Origins pack that gives you mostly skins. It doesn't even say that it necessarily includes the game. Uh, and again, I wouldn't pre-order any game more, you know, half a year in advance. But right now, no one knows exactly what it's going to cost. All we do know is there's 21 heroes. They're all coming out, supposedly. With the game, you're not going to buy them individually, which is great because I hate that. And hopefully the you know, closed beta turns into open beta here sometime after Christmas. That's all we really know. And since I've rambled on about Overwatch for way too long, I have no time for Diablo because that run was stupid quick. And I was actually screwing around a little bit there just to extend my time. Anyway, the biggest announcement coming out in the new patch is... For Diablo 3 is more staff space. Oh my god, have I needed that. I so wanted that. Of course, there's going to be new Legendary. They're, they're redoing the buff user interface as well. I haven't seen too much about that. There's also going to be set dungeons that apparently they're more specific to what you need. And empowered rifts. So basically, you can spend that retarded amount of gold. I have over 3 billion of it in this video. To uh, in, you know, increase your chances on upgrading your gems. Which would be great because I mean, people have too much gold in this game. And there's gonna, you know, they're gonna do some set items, which you know you can pretty much expect. There's gonna be one new zone, Gray Hollow Island. Uh, looks pretty ghostly, from what I have seen. And they're gonna expand a couple of areas. I think it's uh, the Eternal Woods and the Royal Quarters. Other than that, nothing too amazing. I was hoping for, you know, some kind of a uh, announcement on a new, like expansion, but haven't seen anything much about that. If you enjoyed my video and you'd like to see more, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, if you want to see more Overwatch or Diablo videos, just post down below because I'm really, really into what I've seen so far. And of course, I love Diablo. I just don't post it very much.